Today's video is all about one of our favorite mobile games and that is Cypher Odyssey. Now, if you enjoy mobile games and you haven't tested this one out, you're definitely missing out because it is a fun adventure shooter arena style game with different story modes building out the Aether token. They have so many plans for it. And right now, starting last week on July 5th, they have started their big play to airdrop campaign. So there's never been a better time to check out Cypher Odyssey. Cypher Odyssey is a multiplayer shooter action RPG developed by Aether Labs. Here you go on an adventure in a virtual world created by powerful artificial intelligence. And as you play, you're going to be discovering the story of Cypheria. You'll be able to try different characters, equipment, and upgrades to find the best combination to help you advance. Inus are the male characters with sub races like Canis, Bios, Cyborg, and Cosmetic each having their own abilities. And Nikos are their female counterparts having sub races like Felis, Synthetic, Phase Walker, and Crystallis. Now, these characters are important because it's where they bring the Web3 element to the game. So the characters are the NFTs themselves. But that being said, what's great is they also have a free to play version where you don't need to use an NFT character. You can just create a normal player. As you progress in the game anyway, your starting characters would have lower stats and you'd be building up those stats over time anyway in the game. Now, we have noticed that you do get a little bit of a bump in stats when you purchase an NFT but it's nothing that is going to be like super OP or anything, but it does give you features like the opportunity to earn more and have a higher chance of legendary and epic items. And then for the graphics behind the characters themselves, when you're in the menus, you'll see that the regular everyday web two characters have more of like a grayish background. And then the NFT characters are much more vibrant with like purples and pinks and stuff in their background. So in a second here, we're going to dive into the game modes, the arenas, the dungeons, the things like that, you know, about but one important note is this game is really active within their Discord community. They're letting you know how to win more airdrop points. You can make more Aether tokens out of this. So not only is this a really good game, but they've got really good community backing as well. So when you check out Cypher Odyssey, definitely make sure you're joining their Discord as well. And speaking about community and gameplay, we have their co-op mode. Here, you can join forces with other players to tackle challenging dungeons, defeat tough enemies that you can't take on alone. And the benefit of collecting all that loot together. This game also has thrilling dungeon raids where you can explore enemy filled dungeons to fight waves of enemies and find treasures. These dungeons are isometric, meaning that you see them from a top down angle. And they have various challenges and enemies that need a specific strategy in order for you to win. You can raid these dungeons alone with a friend or even partner up with a guild. The team have also made sure that user customization is such a big part of this game. So you have your vessel and there's just so many customization options. So for instance, these customizations can include like a helmet, top, gloves, shoes, and you get to have two weapons. One is your long range and one is your close up melee. Now with your melee attack, you have to be very careful because if you get too close to someone and they're unloading their long range weapon, it could be catastrophic. And with no heals in the game, it could be really damaging to the rest of your dungeon performance. Now that also being said, one kind of like Easter egg or just feature of the game that I really like about this. In some games with your melee attack, it's that. It only works as that melee attack. Whereas in this game, you can practice and add on to your strategy where if you time that slash right, you can actually block enemy incoming projectiles. And that can be very useful when you don't have to worry about going and running around further. You're able to simply deflect a projectile and move on with the rest of your strategy. In the game, there's also power boosts as well. And how they've structured this is there's memories or parts of the old world where your vessel can get those back and then gain the abilities, making your character more powerful than before. So now within all this battling, there's three main game modes. We have story mode, endless mode, and tournament shoot em up. So in story mode, you get to explore deep dungeons with the goal of collecting memories and developing more of the story. While doing this, you uncover the secrets and mysteries that lie within Sephiria's world. Once you unlock new areas, you will then encounter enemies and bosses more challenging them before and you're going to need to beat them before you can progress further in the story mode. Next up, they have their endless mode and this is similar to like a horde mode or like a Call of Duty zombies for instance, where you just have the horde continuously coming and you have to survive as long as possible. Here you'll fight through a number of dungeon floors filled with monsters and aliens and with each successful floor, this wave of monsters becomes stronger and stronger until you get eliminated. In this mode, you can also create a team with friends or join in their matchmaking lobby. 
And finally, we have that tournament or shoot 'em up mode, and this is going to be a time based event where you have to go through the arena and destroy as many enemies as possible. And the more points you get in that time limit, the further you'll go up on the leaderboard. Now, this isn't out yet, but should be out soon. Now, I'd say it's about time to get started with Cypher Odyssey. So, all you have to do that is you can download it with Windows, you can get it on the Google Play Store or the iOS Store for you iPhone users. The game itself starts with a tutorial so you can follow along the steps and learn how to play this one. And this is around the time where you're going to decide if you want to buy an NFT or try it out as a free player. Now, for this game, there is actually some play to earn elements as well. So, let's go through those here. The first way, let's call that battle to earn, is through Marketplace. So, for this mode, you're going to be using your vessel NFT character and you're going to be battling it out to collect more items. And then in the marketplace, you can sell things like NFTs and those items to make a profit. The second way is tournaments or crafting. Like you'd expect in a tournament, if you place high enough in the leaderboard, you'd get prizes and then you can either sell those tokens on the market or with crafting in this game, you can do that to create new weapons. And then if you like, you can sell those on the market as well. And finally, another fun way where you could potentially earn money in this one is wagering Aether. So that's where you get together with the community, watch matches, and you can actually wager and bet on winners. The in-game economy features Cypher and Aether as the main tokens. So specifically for Cypher Odyssey, when you're interacting with the marketplace and stuff like that, you'll be using the Cypher token. You can also earn Cypher token by participating in tournaments and specific game quests. And when it comes to gaming DAOs, you can also stake that Cypher token to give you a vote within their DAO. Aether, on the other hand, is their entire community token. Now, this can also be used in game to do things like crafting weapons, items, enhancing performance, and you'll also need it to level up your character and unlock new abilities. And as of July 5th, Cypher Odyssey launched their massive airdrop campaign, and this is for that ecosystem token Aether. So this is a massive opportunity where just for having fun and grinding in the game and participating in different community events, you have the chance to earn this Aether token. So definitely don't miss your opportunity on this. Follow along on their Discord for all the details, as well as their X platform for breaking news. And like we said at the very beginning of the video, this game is actually a lot of fun. So you're going to want to check it out no matter what. Now, that being said, that brings us to the end of the Cypher Odyssey review. We'd love it if you could head on over to Fungible Games. Let us know what you think of the game itself, because we have our player reviews where you guys, the community, can have discussions and let us know your overall thoughts of the game. But on the website, we also have breaking news, other game walkthroughs, and project interviews where we talk to project founders. For instance, more recently, we've talked to Metalcore, we've talked to Kieran of Alluvium, and we've also talked to the team from Neon Heroes, which is another really fun shooting game. So if you've made it this far, definitely like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.